Card fight, card fight. You just like making me look like the fool and taking the shit out of me. How's it going, everyone? My name's Silver. Welcome back to the channel. And today, guys, we're here to talk about The Dark Dictator. Earlier this week, I think it was Friday, I posted a video about my thoughts on The Dark Dictator and his original skill, which we'll take a look at now. Cannot be boosted. During your turn, this gets 2k for each Shadow Pile and Rearguard. When this is placed on Van, costs. 5k to the front row. He's basically the same card. During your turn, he gets 2k for each rear guard. And then he has a once per turn act counter plus one call to one grade two or less card from hand. That unit gets 5k. Your opponent chooses one of his or her rear guards and retires it. So a lot of things are pulled from here. Um, he's also a force unit, which is good. We already knew that though. Um, so first ride, if you have five rear guards, which I don't know how often Shadow Paladin actually would have that in this setup, he would be 30k. If you put the force mark on top of him, he'd be 33k non restanding. Doesn't matter. Um, I have always had the theory and thought that Shadow Paladin will be a cheap retire clan where the skills will cost one instead of two uh, resources to retire. And your opponent would choose it, and it's sticking to that theme. Overall, I really do like this card. Um, like I said last week, I love the art of this card. Um, let's get into the other cards that have been released over the past few days. We also have the one of the final cards in the set, which of catastrophic. Once per turn, when one of your other rearguards is placed, you may have this unit gain 5k. Pretty nice. It's a trial deck card. We also have ghoulish. D does something. I'm tired. This is the Dark Irregulars Grade 3. Uh, for um, what rarity? We don't know what rarity this is yet. Huh. Okay. Doesn't look like a main. Maybe it's a triple rare or double. Maybe single. I don't know. Um, one place costs counterblast one, soul charge two. Put one grade two or lower card from your soul to your hand. When this unit attacks, if you have 10 or more cards in your soul, your opponent chooses your choose one of your opponent's rear guards or retire, and, the, and this unit gets 10k until end of battle. Pretty good card overall. I like it. And lastly, in the news update, we have Nightmare Doll, Alice, and more, which I really like how this setup is looking. So Nightmare Doll, Alice's skill, when placed, call up to one worker droid from your soul to rear. That unit gets 5k until end of turn. At the begin at the end of a battle at the end of the battle it attack costs counterblast one soul blast one. Put this unit into your soul and call and call a card other than other than a grade for you from soul to rear. And we have a grade two that does something similar. When when placed from soul cost, put one of your other rear guards into soul, call a card other than a grade two from soul to the back row. And that's it. That's everything. That's all the news for today. Weekend news is are pretty solid for me. Um, okay, well, technically the Dark Dictator is supposed to be the newest thing. Which they say Phantom Blaster Dragon's artificial clone of Alfred is finally revealed. Which I guess that's the lore of the Dark Dictator is he's a clone of King of Knights Alfred. So, yeah. That's all I really gotta say on this. I should. I'm gonna try to get a Fortnite video out to you guys either later today or tomorrow. Uh, if not, then it'll be Wednesday's video. But overall, guys, I hope you enjoyed. And until next time, I've been the Silver Wolf, and I'll see you all later. Peace.